Hey, what's up guys? My name is Achona. Welcome back to another Hazel Devlog. On a Tuesday, Devlog Monday is dead officially, I think we can say at this point. Devlog Monday, what a silly idea. Okay, so I promised you guys that there would be a lot of exciting stuff coming up, and there is. I think the next few weeks, if I can get all of this stuff organized and as polished as possible to show you guys, I think that it's gonna be like, a, it's gonna be a good series of videos, basically. For those of you who have no idea what this this is. This is basically a weekly series in which I show the new features that have been added into my game engine called Hazel. Now there are two versions of Hazel. There's like the public kind of game engine series version of Hazel. That's me teaching how to actually make a game engine and then showing that in videos. That project is very much still kind of early days in development since it's made as a tutorial series, not me trying to actually make a game engine. But then Hazel, as I call it, or Hazel Dev, is essentially me building a game engine along with a bunch of really, really cool volunteers who also help out with various areas of the game engine. Now, I'm constantly blown away by the amazing people in the community who come up to me and say that they want to contribute to Hazel. I mean, we've we've got a team of around five people. These people are volunteers. They're not paid. I wish I could pay them. I wish I was this large company who could just hire people. And who knows, maybe that will happen someday. I think Hazel is a a really good project for people who want to kind of get into game engine development, want to contribute to game engine development, or maybe specialize in a particular area of game engine development, such as like, you know, physics or networking or scripting or audio or something like that. But then they just, they can't write the whole engine by themselves. Maybe they don't, maybe they don't know how to, maybe it's just way too much work to do something like that. So instead they kind of join the Hazel team and that way they can contribute code to, an, to a real project, to a real game engine, get that experience working in a game engine team and also you know, help produce this. And of course I am forever grateful to all of those people. I just wanted to mention it again because I, it, like it still blows me away. I mean, if, if you take a look at, so over on Discord, we have a channel called Hazel GitLab, which is basically just a GitLab bot that just posts every commit that goes into Hazel Dev. And I mean, you can just see the amount of work that's going in. Some of these are like multiple commits. Like this is like, this is one day worth of work. Like it's absolutely amazing just how active this project is. And to be completely honest, there's way more stuff that goes into it than I have time to kind of talk about in these weekly devlogs. So I just wanna say a huge thank you to everyone involved. I really hope that Hazel is a really good resource to all of you who want to learn how a game engine works, but maybe don't want to dig through something like Unreal Engine. One of my goals with Hazel, and one of the, this is kind of necessary really when you're building a game engine with such a small team, is to keep it simple. We try and keep the code as simple as possible, as clean as possible, as just like, we, we just can't overcome complicate things because if we do it's going to be way harder to maintain certain areas of the engine and it's going to just take more time to develop and that's not something we can afford and of course a huge thank you to all of the patrons that do make this possible patreon.com slash the churner there'll be a link in the description below best way to help support the development of hazel as well as get access to hazel and you can play around with all the stuff that i show off in these devlogs okay anyway i think that's enough of an intro let's talk about what happened over the last week now this is one of those features that has actually been in development for months i think and it's finally been merged into master and I think it's worth talking about. So a few months ago, this guy called Yaroslav reached out to me and basically presented me with an audio plan, like a plan to integrate audio into Hazel. And I mean, like, you know, this wasn't just like a message being like, hey man, do you want me to add audio? Cool, thanks, okay, thanks, bye. No, this was like, this was like a document. This was like a technical design document, you know, that was like, you know, hey, I've worked with audio libraries in the past. I've used game engines in the past, like Unreal. You know, this is what I like, this is what I don't like, this is what I think should happen um, as far as audio integration into Hazel goes. And I have, in general, huge respect for audio. I think that audio doesn't get a much of like, I don't know, it doesn't get much respect from people, both in the industry and just people who like, you know, look at, oh, but what's a game engine look like? What does a game engine do? Audio is just incredibly important. I mean, you cut out audio or you skimp on audio and the atmosphere is just completely lost. The feelings, the emotional connection just disappears. I, I'm a musician. I've been playing piano since I was four, guitar since I was 11. I like to think that like I'm pretty musically connected, so to speak. So I definitely respect audio. I don't talk about it too much. Like in terms of programming and game engine development, I'm a lot more interested in graphics as far as like the technical side of things go. But in my heart, I'm I very much respect audio and I very much understand how important it is to have good audio inside 
not just a game engine, but inside the media that you're creating inside, whether that be like a video, a game, you know, whatever. Mute the audio of a horror film that you're watching and it looks, it just looks like a joke. It feels like a joke. Now, all of this is still kind of work in progress, but it's, it's, I mean, most of the functionality is there. You know, we have audio assets, we can place audios in our 3D scene, we can trigger them from C sharp, we can give them velocities. There's various effects like low pass and high pass filters. Reverb is a thing as well. I mean, there's like, there's even like a reverb send bus. Like this, I mean, this almost feels like an audio mixing console at, at in some cases. All right, let's just, let's just take a look. So what do we have here? So this is a little audio demo scene that Yaroslav made. By the way, um, if you go help, if you've got access to Hazel, if you just go help about, I like to keep a little kind of list of all the contributors that have actually contributed to Hazel. So there is a list here. So here is Yaroslav. I keep saying Yaroslav with like an accent. Um, <laughs> uh, Jay the Way is his name on Discord. You'll see him probably hanging out there at times. But anyway, this is like a list of, of people who do contribute to Hazel. And those, that kind of makes up the Hazel core team in case you're wondering who on earth I'm talking about. Um, but basically he's made this audio demo scene. Um, again, if you have access to Hazel, it's just in scenes, audio demo, you can check it out in the master branch. Um, and this, there's actually quite a lot of stuff going on here. In fact, I think what I'll do first is I'll just, I'll run this scene in the Hazel runtime so that you can kind of experience it in full screen and see if you can listen and actually like pick up on all of the various sounds and various effects that are going on. Isn't that amazing? Like, I mean, it's just, it's, it adds so much to the scene, like the atmosphere, like it, it feels so different than if we just looked at it. Like it's, it's just, it's, I'm, I'm always blown away by audio. Anyway, I don't really want to get too much into the, like the technical details in this video. It's more of an int introductory video, but in terms of how everything works, I mean, I won't give too much away. If you actually want to take a look at this and dissect the scene, again, it is available inside the Hazel Dev master branch, but basically a lot of it is actually scripted within C sharp. So lots of sounds being triggered. If I actually run it within the editor itself, you'll see like the amount of kind of movement, I guess, in like the scene hierarchy, like when I'm walking and stuff, there's all these kind of entities appearing, disappearing, various 3D, 2D kind of sounds going on. We have these ambient sounds that are just constantly playing inside here, like thunder and this kind of wind. Um, you know, um, Yaroslav's actually kind of grouped everything really nicely. It's, a, it's an interesting use of the hierarchy because of course, like parenting entities doesn't, doesn't just need to be done for like, you know, actual transform hierarchies and stuff. It can just be done to tidy up the scene, which I think is really cool as well. So yeah, it's tons of stuff going on. You can see the audio component down here has quite a lot of stuff. This is the, this is, that's the entire audio component. I mean, look at how big it is. There's so much stuff going on here. I'll be honest, I haven't even had a proper play with this. There's also, I think, inside the audio uh, folder over here, we also have like these various WAV files, sound configs, which I think a lot of this is work in progress. So a lot of this will be kind of changed as time goes on. So again, I don't wanna explain too much of how to set everything up just yet. Um, but yeah, audio sources, that audio component, by the way, is an audio source, probably worth mentioning. We also have something like the player, which is an actual audio listener. Um, and then we can, you know, control kind of how that listener hears things. And obviously that respects the transform in 3d space and all of that. We also have, uh, I think the sound area actually has a box collider of a certain size. 
um, which we can't visualize at the moment, unfortunately. Actually, never mind. We can. <laughs> I forgot that I add, added this, the show physics colliders thing. So that actually um, exists on this platform. So you, you may have heard it in the demo, but if you step onto that platform, a sound actually gets triggered. And you can see there's actually like an audio demo trigger, trigger volume C sharp script that actually triggers that sound. Anyway. Um, it's really exciting for me to see stuff like that because in, in a lot of ways, like I feel like this audio thing is almost like the final piece of the puzzle. Like it's now, it's now theoretically possible to make a game inside Hazel. Like, um, I don't know what else you, you need really. I mean, like, of course there's a lot of features that are missing and that, that are very vital, I would say for any kind of game engine, but fundamentally, you know, making a game like we have physics, we have audio, we have C sharp scripting, we have a runtime, you know, we obviously have rendering, we have like the ability to um, program entities and entity behaviors using C sharp, like the whole kind of the entire demo when I was walking around with the WASD keys using my, my mouse to move the camera around, that's entirely scripted inside C sharp. There's not some kind of like C++ camera that we've just Add it on? No, it's completely scripted dynamically. So, like, it's 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 there. It is there. And as someone who has been working on Hazel for for probably is it close to three years now? I mean, I would say I've been working on Hazel Dev properly for almost two years. Um, before that, I was it was just playing around with like the game engine series and the educational side of things. But Hazel Dev and this version of Hazel that you're seeing here today, I think it's around two two years of work. So getting up to this stage and being able to see this um, is just very exciting for me. And I'm just honestly sharing the way I feel with you guys. Anyway, thank you all for your support. I wouldn't be here without you guys. Hazel would not be here without you guys. That's why I'm always forever forever thankful to you for all of the amazing support that the community has given, both just through watching these devlogs and watching my journey and commenting, as well as actually pledging on Patreon. And then obviously getting access to Hazel, maybe learning from it, contributing to it, you know, making stuff in it, whatever it is you want to do. Don't forget to hit the like button if you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you want to see from these devlogs as well. I mean, as I mentioned, there's so many features going in and like next week dev ne next week's devlog, I don't, not 100% sure exactly what it's going to be yet even because there's like, three different things it could be at this stage and I'll, I'll end up picking something. But if there's something you want to see, don't forget to leave a comment below and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.